So President Trump went on Twitter yesterday and proceeded to lie about Obamacare. He said, as usual, the Obamacare premiums will be up. The Dems own it, but we will repeal and replace and have great health care soon after tax cuts. Okay, so, um, that's nonsense. Uh, would there have been an increase in Obamacare either way? Yes, because every year, uh, the cost of health insurance and health care rises. Um, but would it have been as big of an increase? No. So Trump recently signed executive orders uh, to gut Obamacare. Of course, one of them was uh, gutting the the budget to advertise for signing up by 90%. So fewer people are going to sign up because fewer people know that it's time to sign up. But then also now he's axed uh, subsidies. Subsidies for people who need it in order to afford their health insurance. So, and as a result of that, not only do many people who get the subsidies now, they can't afford their health insurance, so there's going to be more people who lose it, who lose their health insurance, but premiums are also going to spike for people who uh, don't even get the subsidies because who's going to have to pick up the slack for the lack of the subsidies? They're going to jack up the prices of the people who have health insurance. So, for example, look, I have personal uh, experience with this now. Um... I looked at my, I, I do the direct payment for my health insurance and for a bunch of things. And I looked at uh, my bill the other day and the amount that was deducted. And I nearly shit myself. I was like, what the fuck is this? I'm talking a 300% increase from what I was paying the month before. 300%. Now that's on the high end because they say on average they're going to rise 20 to 30% or so. Um, but I'm talking a 300% increase. In my health insurance premium. I can't fucking afford that. So now I got to go through this whole thing where I have to, okay, I got to uh, see if I can, I can get a better deal. I can't get a better deal. Then I got to go to a different health insurance company and likely have to lower my plan. I mean, right now I have what's called a silver plan, which is like the middle of the road, but covers a lot of stuff kind of plan. I'm going to have to drop to like a bronze plan or if there's something worse because I can't fucking afford um, to get decent health care now as a result of this asshole's executive orders, which got rid of the subsidies, spiked premiums, ruining the marketplace, but most importantly, they're doing it on purpose. Trump did it on purpose so that he could turn around and blame Democrats and go, it's not me. No, it is you. You signed the executive orders. You own the health care and health insurance market now because you've done repeated executive orders that affect those markets. That's not saying Obamacare's flawless, that's not saying it's perfect, that's not saying everything was hunky-dory right before these executive orders. It is saying that these executive orders objectively make it worse. And then the most important part is what happened to personal responsibility? I thought you were the personal responsibility guy in the personal responsibility party. You know, everything is up, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, own up to, to your own mistakes and to your own decisions, face the consequences of it, and now you tank the health insurance and health care market and turn around and immediately pawn off responsibility and blame everybody else. Well, no, it's fucking bullshit, and as a result of this, people are going to be hurt, man. They said according, just from the last executive order, there's going to be a million more people who lose insurance. Guess what? I may be one of them. So thanks a lot, Donald Trump, for sabotaging the healthcare system to, to try to score political points so that you win in the next election. But your whole premise is based on people not being able to follow the ball. You know, keep your eye on the ball, everybody, and you'll see what's going on here. You'll see that they're doing this on purpose. It's, it's sabotaging it on purpose. And by the way, only in the U.S. do you have these problems where it, it's a marketplace. Health, health insurance, healthcare is a marketplace. And it is so colossally, monumentally unstable. That we, 16% uh, of our GDP uh, is health insurance. We pay 16%, whereas other modern nations pay half that and cover everybody. We have millions of people uninsured and we pay double what they pay. So, and now you're, you're subject to situations like this. In no other market is it like, oh, you know, you might go to the store and all of a sudden, the price of whatever food product shoots up 300%. That doesn't happen. Well, in health insurance, it happens. And how, how horrendous is that when this is one of the few marketplaces that is 
not like others in the sense that it's not a matter of if you get sick, it's a matter of when you get sick. It's not a matter of if you die, it's a matter of when you die. So it's not a matter of if you need health care, it's a matter of when you're going to need health care. Um, but we live in a country where it's not guaranteed as a right like every other modern country.